What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I believe is to be the new meta for Blackout Battle Royale, which is the Ray Gun. Now, the Ray Gun before used to take two shots, maybe three depending on their armor level, or even if they were using any type of armor, and also if the enemy team had used a trauma kit. But my friend New Kinda Lazy discovered through the unfortunate events of him getting slaughtered by the Ray Gun, that it will actually one-shot kill anyone regardless of their armor level. Even the highest level 3 armor is not going to protect you from the ray gun from one-shotting. The only thing that will is if you have used a trauma kit, which is going to require two shots. But even then though, like, the rate of fire is just too fast to handle, especially up close. And yeah, very, very deadly gun to use for close quarters engagements. You can still even one-shot players at a distance, but it's still kind of hard to do so because the projectile kind of travels at a speed that's similar to the Banshee shotgun from Black Ops 3 a little bit. So from medium range, you may have to lead your shot, but nonetheless though, the ray gun can still one-shot through any level of armor. Also, it doesn't matter where you hit someone, it can even be at their feet and you will still quickly take out the enemy player. Now, the ray gun does deal out splash damage, but from my experience, I would not bank off getting a kill solely off of the splash damage alone like you can with the Sparrow because it's not going to deal an insane amount unless you spam shoot the projectiles but you want to try and conserve your shots as much as possible because there's no type of ammo that can reload the ray gun. The rate of fire also is not insanely fast, which along with the no ammo type does kind of put a cap on this weapon. But if you do happen to spray and pray, just keep in mind you might have to think about finding another weapon soon. It's also fairly easy to miss targets that are strafe jumping or moving around left to right in a gunfight. So if you do encounter a gunfight against somebody playing that way, then that's when I'd recommend unloading as much as you can on the guy but still also try and lead your shots as best as possible to conserve your ammo and then for my testing there is a bullet cutoff point where a certain distance the projectile pretty much just disappears so you can't really cross map players but the bullet fall off point is still a very very long distance also the iron sights on the ray gun don't give you too much assistance for long range kills but you might be able to pick off a few players at a distance so I would say don't use this gun as a substitute for a sniper like the Paladin or the Outlaw, but definitely as a secondary close quarters engagement weapon because again, it's going to one shot through any type of armor and two shot players with trauma kits if they if they do have one on. So um, Ray Gun, I'd say it's going to be the new meta for sure, especially in like Alcatraz or maybe even 50v50s because respawn modes are there and it does get kind of tight together. Um, at, at times and if you want something to just give you quick and easy kills the ray gun is definitely going to be that weapon to use over a submachine gun and probably even a shotgun because this thing kills way faster than any shotgun in the game so um, just make sure you conserve your ammo because there's no ammo type whatsoever. And yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on the ray gun. Please tell me yours down below in the comments. I don't remember them ever, like, buffing the ray gun at all. I, like, I, re I read through all the patch notes recently, and I don't ever remember this one-shotting players at all. Maybe you guys do. If you if you happen to remember that, then please tell me down below in the comments. Um, but like I said, I remember this gun just maybe hitting two to three times to, to kill a player. Um, not one shots for sure and definitely if they have level 3 armor then it took more than one shot for sure. Again I want to give a shout out to my buddy Lazy for getting wrecked by the ray gun and finding this out. Um, I was in that game where it happened too and I thought maybe he had like 50 health or something so I did not really think anything of it. Um, but yeah he went back into replay, saw his health was at 150 with level 2 armor on and the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I also want to give a quick plug into his Twitch stream. Lazy streams like every other day, so definitely go check him out. He's arguably the best Blackout player I've ever played with. Um, he always drops like very high kill games, so again, make sure you leave him some love down below. His Twitch stream is going to be there. Also, I, I want to link a video I found of a gameplay where a guy is shredding on Alcatraz with the ray gun. Um, I found his video out when I was researching gameplay from when Black Ops 4 first came out to compare it to the ray gun of now. And yeah, go check that out as well if you wish, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.